the dilemma is what do we do when we use neoadjuvant therapy, just standard therapy, and people have residual disease? We know their risk is higher, but we've never uh, known that giving them additional chemo over and above standard regimens helps. Uh, people have looked at things like platinum and gemcitabine and capecitabine uh, when they're giving neoadjuvant therapy, but no one's ever really done a trial of completing all the neoadjuvant therapy, having patients go to surgery, and then actually randomizing them to more therapy or to simple observation. And then, of course, standard treatment that they would get, like radiation. So the first study to actually be conducted and reported is the CREATEX study. And this was for patients with HER2 negative breast cancer, but it included both triple negative and hormone receptor positive cases. And uh, patients with residual disease were then randomized to either observation or capecitabine. Initially eight cycles, but then due to toxicity, they dialed it back to six cycles. And what they showed remarkably is that disease-free survival and overall survival was improved. And when they went back and looked at the cases, it appeared that most of the benefit was in the ER negative cases, as one might expect. Uh, and this study was done primarily in Japan and Korea. And we know that the metabolism of fluoropyrimidines, which are metabolized quite quickly, and of course, capecitabine is a fluoropyrimidine prodrug, is different in different ethnicities. And in, in fact, there are more fluoropyrimidine drugs approved in Japan and Korea. And so one thing that people wonder is whether or not we would get the same results if we did it in a trial uh, in the United States or in Europe. So these studies are now underway. Uh, there has not been a broad call for us to revise our guidelines or practice patterns, but I know that in the community uh, some people are now uh, adding chemotherapy, particularly capecitabine, since that's where the data are. Now, the, the U.S. is doing a trial looking at platinum after uh, residual disease, specifically in triple negative breast cancer. This is a, um, uh, an ecog akron led study. And uh, patients who have residual disease are, are, were initially randomized to platinum versus no treatment, but upon the release of the CREATEX data, now they're comparing uh, capecitabine to platinum. And so this will answer the question as to which drug is better, but it won't really serve as a validation of the CREATEX study because there's no control arm. So I think we'll, we'll have this debate going on for a while, but um, it looks as though we may finally have cracked the barrier of being able to do something about uh, residual disease.